Hi, I'm Rich from Inside HPC, and we're at the International Supercomputing Conference, and I'm in the Penguin booth. Okay, so what's new at Penguin? Uh, I, have, I haven't done any kind of technology updates since, uh, what, SC10? Well, I think, uh, you know, we still continue to have the same, you know, workstations through clusters, our cluster management stack skilled, but the more recent addition to our product line is our Penguin Pod On Demand, or Penguin On Demand, High performance computing as a service. Um, I'm going to turn it over to the marketing guy to give a little more detail on it. We actually had a couple of press releases that went out today talking a bit more about some features we recently added to the product. So, Penguin on Demand, it's been around for a while, has it not? Yeah, actually, the offering has been around for a while, but um, we've been extending that offering. Um, one press release went out today, for example, about enhancing the usability of Pod and the access to Pod. Um, we have a new suite of tools that we announced today called Pod Tools that allow for the submission of jobs into Penguin On Demand um, without actually having to log in anywhere. So basically you can submit compute jobs to Pod from any system that runs Linux, even if it's behind a firewall. Um, it runs through a, a web service provider that we run on Penguin On Demand. But what it does basically it makes it for very easy file staging and job submission. So, um, yeah, we're all focusing on making Pod easier to use, easier to access, and um, extend our hybrid story of on-demand resources as well as had hardware resources that people can have on, on premises. So, uh, you know, a lot of people are talking about HPC in the cloud, but you're one of the few companies I can think of that are actually doing it. What kind of traction have you gotten with, with customers? One thing we're absolutely excited about is that our partner Life Technologies, it's a company that is in uh, building genomic sequencers that generate massive amounts of data. They have actually given us an exclusive to host their new application, application LifeScope that's used for post-processing of genomic sequencing data. And that's just coming online right now. We had a beta with over 20 LifeScope customers, and now we have the first customers signing up for this offering. So um, we expect a lot of business come out of that. I mean, at, at the end of the day, though, you guys sell hardware, right? I mean, uh, so that's where the revenue is coming from. How's that business going for you? Hardware is doing extremely well. The company actually grew 100% last year over the previous year. So we're, we're positioned very well for continued growth. I don't know that it'll be quite as steep. We'd certainly like to see it happen, but um, yeah, we're on, we're on a good trend. Excellent. Excellent. So I guess just to wrap up, um, you know, when most people think of cloud, they think of Amazon. What's the difference between that and Penguin On Demand? What would you say? Um, the key difference is that Amazon is in the business or started with a business model of selling access cycles. We have a completely different model. We built an HPC environment and then made that public, publicly accessible. So we really have all the components that you would expect in an HPC type of environment, be it like high performance parallel file systems, be it GPUs, be it InfiniBand interconnects for applications that span multiple nodes. So our, our infrastructure is built for HPC and not just general purpose and then try to weave an HPC story around it.